Hello gamers and gamerettes and welcome to my Papa Louis games tier list aka but not all of his games because he has like some funky wonky games with like lore and stuff <laughs> with like lore and stuff um but I'm just talking about the Papa's games like Papa Sweet Zuria, Buria, Takamiya, etc and I'll just be ranking them today um if you've never played a Papa's game before, uh, where were you? Are you, you're, you're like too young to be on this channel. Like, who are you? So, uh, the Papa's game franchise is by a game studio called Flipline, I believe. Yeah, exactly, Flipline. And they used to be, uh, Flash games. Very big Flash games. I remember playing these in the third grade. Um, during break time when we had like little laptops we would play like Pablo's Cupcakery or whatever and they're just like well they used to be flash games they're not anymore now they're like mobile games but you can still download them from the Flipline website if you uh if you so please if you want to just saying um great experience would recommend um but yeah, they're just flash games, and each game has a different concept, as you can see. So, the concept is you run one of the given shops, like a pizzeria, for example, and then the customers come up to you with a special order, and then you have to make the special order, and then they rate the order how accurate it is, and then they pay you for it. That's exactly, that. that's essentially the premise of the game. Um, and there's been many installments. There's been pizza, there's been a pizzeria, burgeria, takomiya, tacos, you know, freezeria, which is like, you make, I think like ice cream shake thingies or they're not smooth, but like ice cream milkshakes or like you make milkshakes or something like that. cupcake area, which is cupcakes, hot dog area, you make hot dogs and you make, um, a side beverage and a snack like popcorn usually then there's wingeria I hated that one i'm gonna be honest i didn't like that one uh, i forgot what you make on the side there too but like um from cupcake area and on you'd always like make a side dish to your orders but i don't remember what exactly it was by wingeria uh, papa's pancake area you make pancakes uh, papa's pasteria you make pasta and meatballs uh, Papa's Donutaria, you make donuts, Cheeseria, traumatizing for us lactose intolerant ladies and gentlemen, um, but it's like a grilled cheese sandwich shop, which is like interesting, <laughs> uh, Bakeria, which is where you make pies, Sushiria, which is where you make sushi rolls, and Scooperia, where you make like ice cream on cookies. Basically, an ice cream parlor, but you put on cookies. So you like bake cookies, and then you gotta put on the scoops that the customers want, decorate it, etc. Exactly. And um, I would play through all of them, but that means I would, I would have to download all of them. So maybe, yeah, I'm not gonna play through it. <laughs> I'm not gonna play through the games. I'm just going to rank them, um, how I remember them, and how nostalgic. Um, not nostalgic, but like how I remember them because I played all of them. Um, and I could just, you know, like say something to them. Okay, let's get started, shall we? So starting off with the first installment, Papa's Pizzeria. This was the first game in the franchise and it's, you know, it was, it was meh. It was, I'm going to be honest, you just do a little pizza here and there. It was fine. It was fine. It was chill. It was nice. But it's like the first one, you know. Meh. Same with Burger Mia. Meh. Meh. You know, not meh. Nah, it's 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 okay. It's okay. It's not bad, but it's like, you know, it's one of the first games, you know. Then comes Taco Mia, which I already gotta put it a one above because I just remember making the most abhorrent tacos filled with so much shit. Like with the burgers, you could also stack like 50 burger um, patties on top of each other and just serve that. But just filling the tacos with so much shit that like there's no way they could physically close. 
Amazing. Amazing. And it was just, you know, it was a step up. Then comes Freezeria, which, you know, this might be a bit controversial, but I put Freezeria as an S tier because it was just, I have so much memory with Freezeria. Like, I played this game in the third grade with my friends. One person, I don't know how the hell we played it two player, but we did. And I just have so many fond memories of this game. And it is, in my opinion, one of the, one of the best, one of the best Papa's games. Sorry, not sorry. Cupcake area, not bad, was fun. I'd put it on the same level as Taco Mia, or maybe I'd put it underneath just because of the stupid mechanics of the frosting that you had to put on so like okay making the cupcakes whatever was fine but the frosting was so stupid and dumb to put on and like in, mo in most of the pop games sometimes they give you like guides like where to like cut your pizza or where to place the pepperoni so you get the best score but with this one they don't give you a guide on how to properly frost the cupcakes and like it takes you a while to get that hand coordination perfect. Like, I got to rank 60 on this game, which took so long. But, like, it took me that long. And so I was always getting 99 or 98% on uh, decorating. And it's just stupid. It's so stupid to get the stupid icing perfect it's so annoying and frustrating so that's why i'm putting that at a b too that's why i'm putting it at b because the like overall nice but meh frosting mechanics could be better okay anyways hot doggeria i'm gonna put papa's hot doggeria at an a tier because i this is also one of my favorites um ugh one of my favorite uh paparillas games the hot dog making is very easy very simple uh very nice but i really like that they added something extra because making the hot dogs is super easy but at the end they added like you have to make a drink and a snack for the person as well um and so i just gave it a bit extra and like i would always pre-make all like the extra side dishes uh once i got the orders you know while the hot dogs were cooking or whatever um, and so I thought that was cool. And additionally, um, Hot Doggeria added different types of hot dogs that needed longer times to cook. Like, I remember a normal hot dog, um, would, like, cook the fastest, but then you had an Italian sausage, uh, once you, like, rank up to, like, three, four or whatever. And, like, that would take, like, a bit longer. And then, like, each sausage just had, like, a different grill time and it just, like, added more stuff to do. Wingeria? It just sucks. It just, it just sucks. The stupid rolling and like the, the, the spicing <coughs> mechanics, like where you throw the wings into a bowl and throw spices and you're supposed to roll it. It's so dumb and stupid. Like there is a help button you could buy for it, like to tell you when it is, but it is so dumb. It is so useless. I just... I just, I, no. Here. And what was the side issue? Like, the stupid rolling mechanic thing is so dumb. Like, this is so dumb. Like, it would be so dumb. I would, I hated it. It would be so stupid. And then, what I also hated is the plating. The plating was so hard to get down perfectly. Like, it would never be... Like, okay, once I got my customers up to, like, uh, bronze and stuff, it was fine. But, like, the plating was so dumb and so stupid and so humanly impossible, you know? And so, that's why I hate it. It's like, the rolling mechanic is dumb and the plating is just impossible to ever create perfectly. Ever. Ever. It's just not possible. Okay. Papa's Pancake Area, I'm gonna put at C, um, just because this game was also kind of meh. It was like nothing special, it's just like you make like little pancakes, uh, decorate them. There's nothing, there's nothing too crazy about it. 
just make pancakes. That's like, and you like would make, I'm pretty sure, would you make coffee to it? What would you make to it? I don't remember, but, uh, oh yeah, you would make like coffee drinks to it. But it was like, okay. It was okay. Like nothing too special, nothing too memorable. Uh, I like the town that it was placed in. I don't remember the town's name, but I like the town that it was in. It was really cute. It was very lumberjacky, and uh, yeah, overall okay. You know, uh, this was one of the first editions with special orders, which was cool. So special orders were basically um, pre-made orders. Like you, uh, you would put it out, and like this special order would you get you like two times money or whatever, or like a hundred fifty plus points. You know. Um, and it was one of the first, or was it the, I'm pretty sure it was the first game to have the special orders. So with the special orders, you would just like see the name of it and then you would have to like go into settings and like look exactly what it is, or you would just like memorize like I did, or you would like take a picture on your phone, have it on the side and then just like do it, which I would do. Um, and yeah, I like that, but it's not that memorable. So I put it as, as a meh. Next up, Papa's Posteria. Uh, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? First of all, first of all, okay. Here, let's let's look at let's look at the evidence. The plating on this game is so stupid and so absolutely useless like what is this like and plus you what what do I you add black tar heroin onto your noodles like excuse me for Christ's sake this is a children's game anyways essentially what the orders look like the plating is stupid the plating is stupid the side dish the garlic bread is so boring you just put it through and wait it's like you just put it through and wait that's like so boring, so boring. Pasta cooking, meh, you know, it is what it is. You know, I like where they add the spoon where you have to like stir it at least once or twice. But otherwise, plating absolute trash, hated it, impossible to do. And the bread is just absolutely boring. It's so boring. It's so boring. And like, you don't even get to make the meatballs yourself. It's like, maybe instead of making bread maybe you have to make meatballs yourself you know i would have preferred that because it adds more to the game you just cook the noodles try to plate it try and then shove some bread into the oven which is like meh boring and stupid um papa's donut arena a tier a, like, I I don't know, it's between A and B tier for me, because this was one of my favorite Papa's games. Uh, I think I have the highest rank on this game. Uh, one of my favorites, but the stupid thing is the coating of the donuts. So, like, when you dip them into the, uh, what's it called, like, the icing or whatever... It's so difficult to get that movement down or exactly how you need to place it. But like after like a few rounds, I got it done perfectly. Unlike the cupcake area, unlike the cupcake area, unlike that. Um, but I got it down perfectly after like a few levels, which was like pretty easy. And then every time you would just dunk them the same. Um, but the thing that annoyed me about donut area is one. There were these donuts called Long John's, which were just like these rectangles. <coughs> and they were so annoying to dip. I can never get them down correctly. And my icing would always be so far off. Okay, not that far off, but it would always be far off. Like 70% of the time it would be off. And the second thing I didn't like is... There's not much nuance to the game. All you do is make donuts. 
They didn't add anything special like they did in the other games. You would just pick out the dough, you'd have to cut it right, and then you would just fry it, dip it, and be done. That's kind of all it was. There was no extra, um... There was no extra towards it. It was like, that was it. That was it. All you would do is make donuts. And so, like, I loved it because I was just really good at it. And I would play it all the time. But thinking back, all you would do is make donuts all the time. That's all you did. So it's like, I would put it A tier, in my personal opinion. But I always put it down as B because all you do is make cupcakes or just, uh, make donuts. And there's, n like, nothing else there. But it's it's one of the better ones, in my opinion. Cheeseria. I think it's a meh for me. Um, I also have to say, I didn't play it for that long. That's why I'm putting it as a meh. I think it's okay. You can make, like, fries to your uh, grilled cheese and stuff like that. It's okay. It's not bad. I would put... I would put it on the same level as Pizzeria, Pancake Grill, because it's like, it's not bad, but I wouldn't play it if I had to. Like, it's like, it's okay. Like, you just make little sandwiches. You can make funny Mimi Ha, -ha but yeah, I would put it as like more of a meh. Then we have Papa's Bakeria. For me, this is also between B and C because... I liked that you can make pies now, but the stupid, the plating on these like pies was also so stupid. Like getting the whipped creams uh, in the right place was so, so annoying. Let me show a picture. And sometimes these pies, like they could choose between a pie with or without crust. And the pies without crust, in my opinion, just look so, just look so gross. I don't know. That looks disgusting to me. Like, you could buy a help, I'm pretty sure, for the, um, for the toppings. I don't remember. But the topping stuff was kind of meh, in my opinion. And additionally, there was nothing else but making pies like with donut area you would just make pies you wouldn't make anything extra you like you wouldn't make a drink you wouldn't make a i don't know god knows what you would make the pie but there was like nothing you would add to it so it's like kind of meh it's kind of meh plating like plating the topping station kind of sucked but it wasn't bad it wasn't bad, but it's also like meh, like the other ones. Papa's sushi area is a D for me because I, I, I don't know what it is, but I have a hate for sushi area because I. First of all, let me show you guys a picture. Okay, first of all. Getting these fish down or like getting the top part on the sushi placed properly. So fucking hard. So, so hard. Couldn't do it. And then you also have to cut it perfectly. I, I couldn't. I couldn't place the toppings perfectly. Like, I couldn't place the toppings or cut it with precision. I, I, I got the like level 25 and then just eventually gave up because like I just couldn't place it and get the points. And it would just piss me off every single time. Like I like the bubble tea thingy. I like the bubble tea thing thingy because like making the sushi is hard and then the bubble tea. I think that's fun. I think that's hard. It's fun. It gives me more stuff to do. But like the cutting... And the placing would frustrate me so much. It would frustrate me so much. I hated this game. I, I tried to play it so many times, but it just frustrated me over and over again so many times that I just, like, gave up. I Okay, out of fairness, I should put it in C. I should put it in C, but there's just this 
childhood hate in me for this game. I, I don't know. I just hated this game as a kid because I was... It, it, would just, it would just frustrate me. It would just frustrate me and I can never get the perfect score. And yeah. I should probably put it in C though, but because I had so much childhood hate for this, I have to put it in D because I hated this as when I was younger. I would hate this. I would despise it. Okay, there we go. Next one up is uh, Scooperia. Also gonna have to put this in C tier uh, because it's very it's fairly simple like the other games. You just okay we can we can maybe move it up to B because all you do is pick the cookies the customer wants, bake them, and then just scoop ice cream on top. There's no extras to it. That's all it is. You just scoop ice cream on the cookies. Yeah, that's it. The mechanics are fairly simple. It just it was annoying when, as you can see, the cookies here are like they would they would stack like this. So one would be overlapping a bit, and then like placing the ice cream on top of that perfectly was sometimes difficult. But otherwise, all of the other mechanics fine. I liked it. This game it was definitely something like a step up from Sushiria. Um, and yeah. Oh, there's a presentation mode. I didn't know that. Uh, anyways, so that's my tier list. Uh, there's another Papa's game out at the moment. It's called Mocaria, where you make coffee. I bought the game and I played it like a bit. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I would probably also put it around B and C. Uh, but there's a... I would also put it around B and C. But if we talk about the newest Papa's game, the Papa's... Cluckery. Yeah, I didn't buy it yet. I just go to Flipline. Flipline Studios. <coughs> like the Papa's, like Papa's Mocaria. Um, you just make coffees. It's nice. It's nice. Uh, but the Cluckeria is where you make chicken burgers, and I haven't tried it out yet. Like you make chicken burgers and slushies, and then you have like other chicken shops competing against you which is a entirely new aspect to the papa's games and i'd really like to try it out um but i would have to pay for it and i don't feel like paying for it right now and playing it so maybe one day i'll make it updated tier list which i'll probably never do but um yeah anyways i hope you guys liked the video if you have any other opinions feel free to share them or if you agree with me you know that's poggers but yeah that was the video <laughs> i have one thing in s tier one thing in a tier my judgment is uh interesting probably most people probably don't have wingery posture and stuff like that in d but it's just my opinion and uh yeah see ya